Okay, so as you can see, there are quite a lot of different languages and alphabets. Um, all of these are non-standard Latin, aside from Norwegian, Swedish, English, and that's because I use them. As you can see, a lot of these are just slight variations of the standard Latin with extra symbols squeezed in wherever there is room. The most common variations appear to be three, which is my favorite because of the E and C. Um, people, Swiss, French, or some kind of three symbols in that upper corner. Just an apostrophe. Um, and of course, the regular query. And these appear to be the most unique ones. And I must say, I do love this one. Yeah. But these, yeah, only on the side, really. So, first, really. Um, these are the layouts I have found. Oh, whoops. Because they had double cabardium layouts, um, they turned one of them into QWERTY. But yeah, most of them also have Russian. Some of them limit set. Primary layout. I think this is the last relic layout. I think these ones also kind of look like our letters in their layout. And back to Greek. Now we start moving further and further away from all of these. I like this one. Now there will just be a random assortment. The only thing in common seems to be that they remain somewhat separate symbols throughout. This one is way too many cute symbols. Yay! I do hope I am awaiting duplications. Cool. I think we have entered the Indian subcontinent, but I have no clue. I just think it's really cool. Ooh, this one is nice. For Arabic, all of the different layouts are together, it seems. Of course, they go the opposite direction. I think this is insane. You know how the Chinese have made it like this? Their auto projection is just spot on. And you don't need to learn another alphabet like you do for this. at least you have to. I will keep these ones around. The five that are marked I use regularly because I know those languages. I will keep these ones around. 
the five that are marked that I use regularly because I know those languages. 